Hey there, I'm Samurai Man. Rollers are weapons I have mainly used in Splatoon games. In this video, I wanna teach you how to use Carbon Roller, which has the vastest swing speed compared to any other roller. Carbon Roller has Auto Pump as a sub weapon and Zip Caster as a special weapon. Don't forget to subscribe for more Splatoon 3 content. Carbon Roller is a light version of Splat Roller. It has vast swings horizontally and vertically. Running speed is also very vast while rolling. But the weapon doesn't have any range. You are forced to get very close to any opponent to secure a kill. Just like any roller, this weapon can one-shot with the center of the roller. But it cannot one-shot enemies by rolling on them. It always deals 70 damage and 100 is required to splat an opponent. How should you play with this weapon? Being aggressive is the way to go with this weapon. But it's good to take cover from walls and corners. Opponents may not have enough time to react to carbon rollers fast swings. Auto Bomb is really good at zoning out enemies. It's really good to throw them up to sniper spots where you are not able to reach at all. Now we need to talk about the potential of Zipcaster. This special is amazing. It is fun to use and very flashy when you find opponents to kill with it. This is very good use against anyone that's on high ground. Zipcaster does damage when you splash to a ball or ground with it, depending how close you were. However, it is very important to remember that each carbon swing or each use of Zipcaster drains special meter faster. Planning a route before using Zipcaster is a very good way to get better at awareness. It's not a good idea to use this special and go in middle of enemies without a plan. I would suggest to go for any opponent that's alone, they're much easier to pick. Also, keep in mind where you are using your special, because it leaves a mark on ground that opponents can see. You automatically jump back to the spot where you used it after a timer runs out. It would be the best to activate Zipcaster in safe spot. Carbon Roller suits for many modes. Personally, I have liked using this in Rainmaker. Which gear abilities are the best for Carbon? Without special power-up, Zipcaster lasts about 10 seconds without swinging Carbon or using Grapple. With one special power-up on the main slot, it increases the length of Zipcaster by one second. It may not sound a lot, but it could be a game-changer in situation like this. Oh no, I would've, that would've been insane! So it can be a good idea to stack them. Swim speed up is good to have as well, since you wanna be aggressive with carbon and moving fast helps a lot. Ink Saber subs helps saving ink for attacking with your main weapon after using an auto bomb. If you stack more of them, you could even throw two auto bombs, but then you wouldn't have any ink left. Check out my other roller guides I have made for Splatoon 3, links are in the description. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to give you answers. Thank you for watching.